Hello everyone, this is Pastor Joe. And I'm Kawan. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we are already question number 16. Which means we've been doing this for 16 weeks. Yeah, four months. Um, 16 is more than a month. I mean, four months. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so today's question is very simple, and the answer is relatively long. Uh, what is sin? The answer is... Sin is rejecting or ignoring God and the world He created, not being or doing what He requires in His law. Oh, so it's not, sin is not just individual wrongdoing? What do you mean by individual wrongdoing? Like um, stealing or making a lie or... Um, Oh. Same bad word. You you mean it doesn't only affect you? Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um. So sin is bad not just because it's bad, but also because, um, you're ignoring God and you're uh, rejecting His world and mm. you're rejecting or um turning away from, uh, the person He wants you to be. Um. Right. I mean, we are children of God, so like... <laughs> <laughs> so, children, I want you to uh, read this answer very carefully, or listen to my explanation very carefully. Sin is not an individual or a single act of lying or stealing or um, making bad joke, uh, but basically it is rejecting God or ignoring God. God. Uh, we are living in the world He created, so we belong to Him and we are living in His creation. Means we are under God's guidance and authority. But if we do not follow um, what God requires in His law or order in His law, that means we are rejecting or ignoring God. That is the, um, the essence, the core of sinning. So once again, what is sin? Sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world He created and not being or doing what He required in His law. That's true. So, so important um, truth about sin. Okay? Mm. I want you to remember and memorize this. Well, um, the further explain, explanation is like this. Every sin is against God. Like, I make a lie to my daughter. <gasps> so, she, later on, she found out, oh, there was a lie, and she got upset. Oh my gosh, my heart is broken. <laughs> But sin is not just uh, making a lie. Sin is actually being against God. For instance, if uh, Pastor Joe, Abba, <laughs> ever lied to me, right? Um, the lie is not just bad because it's a lie. Though that's, that's plenty bad on its mm -hmm. own, right? Um, lying is bad in general. But it's also bad because I look up to Abba and I admire him, and I love him. And so when Appa lies, or when Pastor Joe lies, which he hasn't, <laughs> um, but, but if he lied, right? Um, the image I have of him, right? It kind of breaks. <laughs> like, we are image uh, children of God. Like, we are supposed to be... Um, representatives of God on, on this earth, right? Um, we are supposed to emulate Christ, to imitate Christ, and um, be like Him, right? I guess a um, better example is you making light to me. Oh, you're, you're placing the blame. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you're, the making lie is a wrongdoing, that's one thing. But making lie um, is breaking my heart. Did I raise you wrong? <laughs> Because I want my children to be pure and perfect.
perfect. I want uh, my children to act um, graciously, mercifully, and truthfully. So when I see uh, my children doing the opposite thing, it just um, breaks my heart. So that's why uh, everything is against God. And if you are, I mean, you should care about God's heart, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I care about Appa's heart because mm-hmm. he's Appa. Um, so when his heart breaks, my heart breaks too, you know? That's true. Yeah. So when you break God's heart, it hurts you too. Like, it, it's, not, it's not just, oh, you broke someone's heart and then you ran off. <laughs> you, may, you may ask, um, can we break God's heart? Well, yes. He's so big and great and mm. above us in I heaven. Mean, look at Ephesians 4 um, 30. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Means Grieve means to make sad. Yes. Don't make the Holy Spirit of you God sad. You can make the Holy Spirit sad by your sinning. You have that power. So, <laughs> so don't use it ever. <laughs> So, children, um, this verse is very important. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. That is related to our sin. Mm. You can break God's heart because God has you in His heart. Yes, so true. So, uh, let's look at Romans um, 3.21. Would you read this passage for our children? For although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him. But they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Hmm. Uh, This is about um, the people who don't believe in God. Well, but it also applies to the people who believe in God. So look at the first line, although they knew God, they knew there was God. But they did not honor or they um, didn't give thanks to him. So they didn't respect him. And Even though they are living mm-hmm. in the world he created, they are provided everything. Rain, sun, wind, a beautiful tree, or fruit. fruit. Yeah, and um, the soil, and a high mountain, a beautiful cloud, um, the flowers. They are equipped and provided every, with everything uh, from the hand of God. But they, if they do not honor Him as God or they do not give thanks to Him, well, <laughs> how can it be, right? You are living <laughs> in the place God created. You are living because yeah. God created. <laughs> So let's say um, I have a guest and I um, allow him to stay in my um, house. house. And you uh, give for... him food and you let him use the bathroom and the shower mm-hmm. and to wash his teeth, That's brush right. his teeth yeah, yeah, yeah. and wash his hair. And then a um, few weeks later, he is leaving and he said nothing. <laughs> he doesn't even <laughs> say thanks once. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> I mean, this was all free. He, he wasn't paying for it, you know? There, there is no equivalent. That exchange. would be very, very, um, how do I say, uh, frustrating, frustrating or, uh, or uh, annoying? Or... When you do something good, you don't do it because you want gratitude or because you want people to thank you, right? But it's nice when people uh, uh, say that they know that you are doing a lot for them. And um, another thing is, if I allow him to stay in my house, um, supposedly um, he need to follow the basic, um, what is it? Rules? The basic rules. Um, in this house, like um, you don't sing aloud um, 11 p.m. or 12 p.m. You don't play loud music at that's 1 right. a.m. That's right. So, that's what this verse is talking about. Although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him, but they became futile in their thinking. 
they just focus on themselves, their appetite, their desire, and they don't see the world as it is. Like um, their foolish heart were darkened. Mm. They don't see the um, the beauty of God. They don't see the justice of God in this world. So they don't praise God. They don't give thanks to God. That is sin. Futile means useless. So their thinking became useless. <laughs> <laughs> like going back to the guest example. Um, so God does all these good things for us, right? He, he provides us with a home, which is the world. Mm -hmm. And he provides us with food. And he provides us with family and friends and stuff, right? Um, but what happens if the guest comes in and the guest has all of this good stuff and the guest uh, decides to keep on living in the house, right? But while he's living in the house, every now and then he smashes cups <laughs> and sometimes he breaks the windows and uh, sometimes... And he takes uh, my chair as his own. Well... <laughs> That's kind of yeah. You are allowed to use it, but that's not yours. <laughs> it's not even. It's not even that he's not grateful. Mm. He's actively destroying things. The trust. The trust. Yes. So that's a sin. Um, that's um, right understanding of sin. Not just um, a an individual wrongdoing, but um, the act of breaking God's heart. So when we ask for repentance. We're not only saying, oh, I did something wrong. We're also saying, I did something wrong, and that hurt you, God. Right. That hurt God. Because God has feelings too. <laughs> yes. So, uh, when, you, when you repent, uh, you may say, God, I, I am sorry ignoring you for a long time. Or, God, I am sorry for not um, being grateful for you, something like that. So that's the power of repentance. Okay, um, the God's law teaches us how to please Him. Ah, so sinning is, sin is against God, but God's law teaches us how to please Him. So that's why we have been learning about the law of God not pressing us down or um, limiting our freedom but it really teaches us how to live uh, with joy and gratitude think of the law kind of like mm, like not even the rules of the house but like you're trying to think of a present for a friend <clears throat> and then another friend of that friend tells you everything that they like Mm -hmm. So they like ice cream, and they like stuffed animals, mm -hmm. and they like all these different things. Um, and while preparing the present, um, if you were just trying to figure things out on your own, you might not give uh, the, your friend a present that they really like. Right. But if you go according to the suggestions, or the rules... Wish list. Wish list that the other friend gave to you, then they'll definitely like it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Very good. So, children, um, we need to understand why God gave us His law. Um, it's not um, limiting us, but um, liberating us, set us free, and live with joy, gratitude, and, <clears throat> and beauty, actually, and glory. So, learn um, God's law diligently and with joy. <laughs> there is a one person, only one person who actually pleased God perfectly, mm. and that is our Lord Jesus Christ. He took up the burden of our sin in our place. So we are accepted by God in the name of Jesus. That was the number one wish list in God's heart. In Christ fulfill uh, those wishes so he is perfectly pleased God and that's why we are delivered from sin because Christ um, did that in our name mm -hmm. 
So all he does, all he did, was um, in our name, God. This is for um, Gawon. This is for um, you know. This is for Pastor Joe. It's like um, going back to the guest example. <laughs> so the guest comes in and he <clears throat> breaks all of your cups. <clears throat> And then Jesus comes in, and he's like, "Here's a brand new set of cups. Um, I apologize for my friend." That's right. In the name of that guest. Mm. So that guest is free. <laughs> Doesn't have to pay for anything. <laughs> That's right. So remember, Jesus Christ is not just model for our life. He is a foundation. Mm. He is the life. Okay, um, today's memory verse we already went through, that is uh, Roman 3.21. Let's read aloud. For although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him, but they became futile in their thinking, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Okay, so this is kind of... Um, we, we need to switch this verse to understand positively. Like, uh, if we know God, then we should honor Him. That's right. And we should give thanks to Him. Then our thinking becomes useful. Useful. <laughs> and our vision will be clear. Yes. Yes. We will clearly see, oh, God, you are so wonderful, beautiful, and you are just um, our hearts will no longer be full of darkness it will be full of love that's right so remember this verse memorize it and uh, from time to time you think about it and you praise God you honor God you give thanks to God that's the whole point again um, question number 16 <clears throat> what is sin sin is rejecting or ignoring God in the world he created um, by not being or doing what he requires in his law. Very good. I want you to memorize this question and answer and memory verse as well. That will be wonderful. Bye. See you next time. Bye. Bye.